everyone, welcome to the first official episode of my Disney Princess Legacy Challenge. This is our first gameplay video, but I have already done two videos, one creating our character Snow White, and the second one creating her house. If you would like to find those videos, they are of course very easy to find on my channel. So I've just loaded into the game, I've placed Snow White and her house on this lot in Windenburg. If you didn't see the build video, here is just a quick overview of the house. Obviously it's very simple, very starter home, but I think it's very cute. And also so this is just what our gal Snow White looks like. She's currently in her everyday wear, but I feel like maybe she'll want to change into cold weather. <laughs> she can do that herself. She'll be fun. <laughs> I think what I'm going to start with is just go straight in for some hobbies. I'm actually in that vein going to change her aspiration a little bit. Her main aspiration for her whole life is going to be big happy family. But until she starts having children, we could probably still get some other points and things from doing some other ones. So first thing I want to do is plant some seeds etc so I'm gonna start by going freelance botanist and I'm gonna come over here purchase some seeds I want her to grow apples oh no can you not actually choose which ones you huh maybe if I just get a couple fruits you literally get one type oh my god <laughs> okay flop 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 I thought you'd get like multiple types of fruit would you open the packet oh I literally just got strawberries cool 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 well, let's just come and plant some strawberries anyway. I'm literally just gonna plant like as many as I can in this space, so. And then we'll water all. Oh, not the welcome wagon. <laughs> I mean, it's probably a good idea. Wait. Okay, so quick important thing to do before we get any further in this challenge is I'm going to read you out the rules for Snow White. Rule number one, she must have seven children. Rule number two, all children have to have the same baby daddy. Three, must never answer the door to strangers or old women. So I can't talk to these people. I feel like unless I seek out the interaction, I can't talk to people I don't know. So no welcome wagon for me. <laughs> And these rules are the ones that more come into play once she has children, but number four is each child must have a negative trait. Five, each child must achieve something, either level five in one toddler skill or level three in all toddler skills. And then number six, each child must have a maxed character value. Now, I don't think I've ever maxed a character value before, so that should be very interesting. It's going to be super chaotic once we start having children. Um, but essentially, I'm just gonna have to, yeah, I'm just gonna have to end the welcome wagon because I'm not talking to people. Oh, no, no, yikes, maybe next time, bye. Right, quick, quick, quick. And the other hobby that I wanted to do was painting because it's just classic hobby and money-making scheme in The Sims. So once she's finished watering stuff, I want her to come inside and do a painting. Now I'm pretty sure you usually don't make money on the first painting, but pretty much everyone after that you will. Sorry if you can hear the siren. That's South London calling. <laughs> oh no, okay, she was actually pretty good. She's already made three simoleons back on that painting. Pretty good, pretty well done. So I was also thinking at some point we might dip into the painter extraordinaire aspiration but as far as I'm aware even if you've already achieved those things once you open into the aspiration it like ticks them off for you or at least it should <laughs> so that's fine and it's actually good timing because she has a slightly low social need so I'm now gonna go out I think or what I might actually do is just create a club I've seen this been done a whole bunch of times where you use the get together clubs to essentially find good matches for your sim and it means obviously you can literally have them all just come to your house so yeah i think i'll probably do that oh who are you go away why she looks so mad she's like leave me alone <laughs> like she is basically staring directly where the door is as well like go away okay so i'm literally gonna make a club called like speed dating or something because i just want them to all come to my house and i can like you know get to know them <laughs> I want them to be a young adult as well. Marital status, not married, obviously. I could do with them being at least middle class. Just because I could do, I, you know what? I could do with the money. <laughs> and I need them to be loyal because like I said, all the kids have to have the same baby daddy so we can't have him leaving us. Where is it? Why is it not on here? Maybe family oriented then? I at least want them to have like one same trait as her, you know? Are there no people who meet those criteria? Okay, now it seems to be working, so not sure what happened. Oh, okay, none of these sims are family oriented. Okay. <laughs> She's kind of cute. Now, I honestly don't know the traits of any of the townies, so I could just be picking people who are gonna be like terrible. Maybe not Vlad. Okay, I think three people is probably good to start with. I don't need to invite like so many people around. Okay, so I've suggested that 
for an action they'd be romantic? What if they all start flirting with each other and not me though? A bit tragic. There we go. All right, I'm gonna start a gathering. Now I've just gotta wait for them to show up, so I will just start another painting, just to kill time, you know? Why, why have you got a fear of failure? What if they all start flirting with each other and not me though? Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. Why, why would you have a fear of failure? Nothing is wrong with each other and not me. Nothing is wrong. Is anyone here yet, hello? Oh wait, they're all outside. <laughs> I'm gonna call the group over, hopefully they all come in. Wait, where are they going? Guys, come back. They've all gone like to the closest place they can. Right, I'm gonna quickly just queue up a bunch of interactions. Go, go outside now, go, go, go. Go here, go, go. What are you doing? They're literally all like flirting out there. <laughs> Go over there, now. What is going on? Right, let me see if I can do something else. Okay, I feel like my game is totally glitched. I'm gonna go to manage worlds. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna kiss him on the cheek and then I'm gonna ask about his day and then I'm gonna get to know, ask if single, embrace, whatever. Just do something, please. Thank you, oh my God. I genuinely thought she was never gonna go outside. Oh, immediately bad. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Why is it so awkward? Is it because she's tense? Oh my God. Okay, right, stop talking to him. She's literally ruining my life right now. Please make this go well. Is it going well? Yes? Can you stop being tense, please? Compliment her? Ooh. Okay, I've got to like get to know him. Right, he's single, obviously. I don't know why I keep asking that one. Like, I know they're all single because otherwise they wouldn't be here. He's a bookworm. Okay, I need to know more. Give me more. I'm, I'm gonna give him a little cheeky kiss cheek. <laughs> cheek kiss. Ask about career. Discuss interests. He's unemployed. Oh Lord. <laughs> Look, you know what? That's not the worst thing, but honestly girl, like that's not very helpful for us. Oh, I came into cast to like, just very quickly find out their traits. Cause honestly it's just super annoying to have to like find out in the game. And Alice and Mark, who I've both invited, are like siblings, I guess? No, they've got different last names, so maybe they're just roommates? Bit awkward though. Okay, so Mark though is a friend of the world. He's art lover, bookworm, and cheerful. So we are slightly compatible, I reckon. Compatible. And then Alice is painter extraordinaire, music lover, creative, and bookworm. Well, at least none of them are like, flirty, non-committal. I don't feel like they have to be family oriented or loyal to make it work. She's cute, kind of obsessed. <laughs> so is he though, so here's our issue. I don't know, Nox is also fine, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he wouldn't like living in my house though because quite frankly, I'm not gonna be going like eco warrior on it, like so maybe not the best outcome for us. Okay, come on, we've got to start being friends. <laughs> Ask about Korea, get to know. Alice is unemployed, you've got to be kidding me, you guys. <laughs> I mean, once we're married. <laughs> Why do I keep asking if they're single? I know that they're single. Is it going well? Okay, it's going fine, it's going fine. Gossip. Honestly, I'm probably gonna speed through a lot of this because I quite frankly just wanna build up some relationship and it's not going so quickly, but um, I'm hoping we can get it up there a little bit. <laughs> what if I just confess attraction? Oh wait, no, bad move, bad move, bad move. She's embarrassed, don't do that. That can't end well. When are you gonna stop being embarrassed? It's really annoying. Talk about speed dating. Funny story, tell a funny story. This has taken us all day and quite frankly, we have got absolutely nowhere. Oh my gosh. You know what? I feel bad because quite frankly, I feel like she keeps getting embarrassed. It's cause of me, I think. <laughs> I'm not very good at social interaction myself, so I feel like maybe I'm sort of ruining it for the for the game. <laughs> right, let's see how this goes. <sighs> Probably not well. I'm pretty into Alice though. How's this going? Oh, okay. Here I was trying to talk to people. Look, uh, they stargaze, it's going up way better. Okay, I'm gonna end this meeting. This was a bit of a flop. To be honest, bye guys. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna try this again tomorrow. <laughs> okay, don't complain about being hungry. Just go and get food. <laughs> Please don't catch on fire. Please don't catch on fire. Begging you, Snow White, to just not catch that on fire. Okay, I'm just gonna deal with her needs a bit. We're gonna finish this painting. Right, I'm inviting Alice to come over. I've got to just like, 
get them to be friends, like really good friends at least today. Okay, she's here. Everyone, remain calm. Right, this has got to work. I think it's going all right. She's also creative, so maybe we'll talk about painting. It's going up so incredibly slowly. Ask the cloud gaze. Yes, yes, let's go, let's go. I think that builds like pretty good relationships, so how's it going, guys? Is it good? Ah, Eliza Pancakes, go away. Actually, no, I just can't talk to her at all, right? Because she's a stranger, so I just have to like pretend she's not there. Oh my god. Um, no, you know what? I've put a lot of effort into Alice, so I don't think I'm going to be pursuing you, Mark. I don't think we're close enough for me to flirt yet. I'm very concerned that if I try, it will go poorly. <laughs> Okay, okay, we got a sentiment. That's a good start. I can't believe I'm spending literally an entire day just, oh, we're good friends. What if I just try like, oh, apparently I accidentally did try a flirtatious thing and she didn't like it. Okay, kind of rude, you know? If you don't embrace me. I'm wondering if she will join my household or is that gonna go really poorly? <laughs> Cause if she's here like 24 seven. Oh, <laughs> um. Okay, um, I really expected that to not work. That's good though, because that means that like, I can go about my life and we'll keep gaining friendship. And just like that, interesting. Let's see if I can help it from the other side as well. How thought provoking. Snow White seemed to enjoy that conversation with Alice, especially when they explored more serious thought provoking topics. A good conversation becomes great once the mind is engaged. Could this mean that Snow White likes deep thoughts? I honestly don't see why not, my gal. Okay, she's hungry, so she... Oh, and she's cooking. Well done. Okay, right. I need to pause for a second. Because <laughs> I really thought that she wasn't going to agree to move in. So, I have some thoughts. She's not going to share my bed, is she? Because she won't deem that as appropriate for our relationship. Because we're only friends. And now I've also got her needs to deal with. Although she's kind of not my problem. I've really um done this to myself. We have just got to be like constantly talking. Constantly like engaging with one another. I can't believe I invited her over and I was like, you want to move in? And she was like, yeah, sure, why not? I didn't get any of her money though. I feel like you're meant to get money when the other person moves in. Because don't they have like fun... It really doesn't matter, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you know what, for tonight, I will just have her napping on the sofa because I'm not spending money on like a new bed or something. That's outrageous. You can just nap, 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 nap the night away. Okay, so we've got some good sentiments going on. I really feel like today we could become more than friends. <laughs> oh, hello. She just literally walked straight through the wall. Cool, I guess. Right, we're gonna have them sit down, just have some nice conversation. <laughs> you guys just need to be like romantic now, please. Deep conversation. I just said she should whisper sweet nothings. Do you reckon it's gonna work? Oh, it's happening. Did it go well? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's getting a little bit intense. <gasps> it's going well, but they've not got a romance bar yet. I'm gonna see if a bold pickup line works. <gasps> Is it going well? Is it going well? <gasps> Okay, right, she's feeling flirty. Let's flirt. Oh my god, it is on. It is on, flirt. <laughs> Love that, I didn't know what to pick, so I was like, if we just literally say the word flirt, ask about, oh. I just, I literally realized that I didn't check if she was into women, but I feel like she, I mean, she must be. She's being flirty, so. Okay, so break in the regularly scheduled program. New day, new outfit, new me. So the other day when I was editing this video, I realized that I'd actually lost a significant portion of footage. Luckily I still have all of the actual gameplay footage, I just lost my face cam footage. <laughs> so since this isn't something I can really, you know, refilm, I'm going to run you through the remaining events for the rest of the episode. Okay, so shortly after my footage ended, we then actually asked Alice to be our best friend. Went very well, as you would expect. <laughs> and then immediately started flirting with her some more. <laughs> And honestly, it was going very, very well. Then I decided to leave Alice alone for a minute, you know, actually let her breathe from the suffocation of my socialization. <laughs> and had Snow White go outside and she started selling the first strawberries she'd grown. Now, I didn't actually know how much to expect to make from these, but I think, and you'll see if I'm wrong, I was making 54 simoleons per plant, which given that the fruit seems to grow every day is honestly a really good 
profit. I'm actually feeling very good about our sort of money making with the plants and the painting so far. And I know they're very basic money making things in The Sims, but I think it's good to start there. And as we move on, we will go on to different and more interesting things. Okay, so after that, I went back inside. I was talking to Alice and then we had our first kiss. Now, this would be slightly more exciting if I hadn't actually missed the kiss. They didn't do it like autonomously or anything. I had Snow White kiss Alice. And as I was trying to get a good shot of it, I like rotated behind the wall, <laughs> like just as they kissed. So you'll see like, I fully miss it. And you hear the music and you see the pop up like, wow, they had their first kiss and I missed it. <laughs> And then it was all flirt, 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 and suddenly Alice discovers that she is romantic. And now I wasn't sure about this, I had to actually take a pause and think about it. Because I wasn't sure if her being romantic would potentially lead to maybe cheating, maybe this or that, but it seems like it should be okay, so I'm trusting her to be loyal and only be romantic with us. And honestly, <laughs> I filmed another episode since then and these guys will not stop flirting. They are always in a flirty moodlet. Hi, editing Ellie here. Don't mind me just forgetting to mention that they became girlfriends. As you were. And in that vein, shortly after she decided she was a romantic person, we had our first woohoo. <laughs> It's actually kind of alarming. I feel like when you're playing The Sims, you don't realize how fast things can happen. But as I was going back through the footage, I realized it was maybe five or six minutes between first kiss to first woohoo. And I thought, wow. <laughs> Obviously that's real life minutes, not in game minutes. That would be quite impressive to get The Sims to do anything that quickly. So then after that, we're chilling out, we're going about our day and Snow White, off her own back, nobody decided to do this for her. I had her do a paint from reference and I turned the camera around and Alice was like right there. And it was like, it felt so romantic, so cute. It was like a candid little like portrait. I'm in love. Did I save it? No. <laughs> Did I even consider saving it? No, I forgot that was a possibility. I sold that, it's gone. <laughs> but in the moment, it felt like a very cute thing to do. You know, they're having this romantic day, they're falling in love. She's painting and she thinks, wow, my muse, my Alice, you know, stunning. I would actually just like to clarify that in my notes, I put 13 minutes in Snow White painting her French girl. Sometimes my brain works in references so heavily that the reference I'm making doesn't even quite make sense. But there we are. <laughs> Then I decided to go into Cass and edit Alice a little bit. I wanted to look through all her outfits and stuff. And honestly, she was looking pretty cute. I didn't change too much. I just went in and mostly used some of the styled outfits to change some of the ones I didn't like so much. And she kind of already had this like a lot of purple lilac kind of color going on. So I left her with that. I think I will probably in future go back in and do a little bit more of a heavy refresh of her outfits and stuff. But maybe I'll do that once she ages up into an adult or something like that. I also haven't clarified that I am choosing to play this on short lifespan, at least at the moment. I don't know if that's actually a very good idea. I did take a look and yes, it can work to have seven children across the young adult to adult lifespan, but I don't actually know. I didn't check how far along Alice is in young adulthood. And since we have to have the same parents for all of the children, it could become an issue if one of them, you know, ceases to exist. Yeah, so I'm currently in short lifespan, but I may go into normal lifespan for a bit, at least for the Snow White generation, because she's got like so much to achieve and like a lot quickly, like all the kids have to do all these things and it might become a little bit too much to do on short lifespan. But luckily Sims don't age while they're pregnant, so Snow White will be fine. And speaking of children, I thought, wow, we've had our first kiss, our first woohoo, we're in love, let's try for a baby. And we were eating for two, baby. And then Snow White went in and started talking to Alice. And I don't know if this is actually how it works, but in my head, she was going and telling her the good news. They were getting excited. Well, I say excited. Alice had like a slightly good reaction to whatever Snow White was saying, but it wasn't like what you would hope the reaction would be to, I'm pregnant with our first child. Although maybe it's the more realistic version. She was like, yay. Um. I've known you for like two or three days at this point. Did we make a mistake? <laughs> but after this very exciting day, lots and lots happened. We went to sleep, woke up in the morning and Snow White had morning sickness. And I thought, wow, 
what a good place to stop this episode. So that is all that happened. You are caught up. It was quite a whirlwind of an episode. I think I literally spent like half my recording time trying to get a partner. And then in the second half, it was just like, kiss, woohoo, baby, let's go. It was... <laughs> much quicker. But yeah, so Snow White is now pregnant with our first Sim baby. It's gonna be one of our first little dwarfs. I feel like there has to be a better way of saying that. The kids are meant to be named after the seven dwarfs. I've actually already filmed the next episode by this point, so I already know what baby we have. I randomly generated like which dwarf name to do first. So yeah, I can assure you the next episode is very exciting. <laughs> so if you would like to see any future videos like the next episode of this challenge, then please do subscribe, hit the notification bell, I guess. If you want to see my face, just pop up on your... You know, if you want to get a little notification of me saying I've uploaded. <laughs> Imagine if YouTube upload notifications were sort of like Duolingo and it was just like my face, like, I uploaded, you gonna watch? <laughs> you got games on your phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yes, future content will be coming hopefully every week. I'm on a bit of a roll, so hope to see you next week for the next episode of this challenge. And of course, if you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for bearing with me while I had this technical issue. <laughs> what a time to switch up the formatting in the first episode of a series. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, life. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.